Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Gitgo that Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Now, in the last episode, we made this uh, double rail network all over the island. Uh, as you can see, we made already made plenty of money from the few coal mines that we connected to it. I think it's time we connect uh, the rest of the coal mines to our network. So in this episode, I will uh, show you a good way to connect more uh, stations to your network. And I will also show you uh, how, how to approximately uh, determine how many trains uh, you will need. So first off, I will now uh, remove all the uh, old stations, the one with uh, the single rails, because uh, they will just get in the way. And we don't really need those anymore. Of course, uh, for example, from this uh, coal mine, we now transport the coals to this power plant nearby, but you will uh, get more money if you uh, transport your goods uh, further away in a quick way. So transporting to this power plant over here will get us more money than uh, transporting it to a nearby power plant. So that's why it pays off to uh, transport everything to a far away station. Anyway, let's begin by uh, removing the old infrastructure. Um, now, if I want to send all the trains on this rail to the depot, you can just click one of the stations. Here you can click on the train icon, then you see all the trains that are going to this uh, station. They have this uh, station as a destination somewhere in their uh, orders. So here you can just uh, do manage list and send to depot, and that will send all the trains that uh, go to this station to the depot. Alternatively, you could just click the train and then just click this uh, depot icon and that also sends it to the depot. When a train is in the depot, then only then you can delete it. So that's why you should first send all the trains on lines that you don't need to the depot and only then destroy the lines. Or else they uh, will get stuck somewhere unless you build a depot uh, there. Okay, I will now do the same for the uh, other lines. and then we'll uh, remove those lines. Now to remove a train you can just drag it uh, to this icon or you can just uh, press this button to sell all the trains in the depot. Now if you have too many screens open uh, you can close all of them by uh, holding shift and pressing delete. That's a quick way to get rid of all the open windows in your screen. Alright, I will now remove the uh, old stations. You can hold control while, uh, while having the rail tool selected. And then when you drag, you will remove uh, rail pieces. Alright, now it's time to connect uh, the coal mines to our, uh, to our network. And I found that uh, the, easy, the easiest way to do that for coal mines is just make a double station. That's usually enough for uh, the amount of coal they produce. For other types of goods you may need uh, wider stations, but that will be covered in uh, one of the next episodes. Now. Um, Usually coal mines are not that close to cities, but if they are, you should be careful. Uh, if you build around the city and you remove trees, uh, your reputation with the city will uh, decrease. You can say you see that here at local authority. Right now it's still good, but if I remove trees, you will see my uh, reputation deteriorate. So um, what that means is that if you're building near a city, your reputation is still good. Then it's probably wise to uh, to, to make sure that your station is in the correct place. Because, uh, for example, if I build here on these trees, it may be that my, uh, that my reputation decreases and that I cannot uh, build something else. Your reputation will increase uh, later again if you transport more goods to a city or if you replant trees. But uh, yeah, just keep in mind when you build near a city, just uh, it's probably wisest to make sure your station is in the correct place the first time you place it down. 
anyway, I uh, like this location here. So I will just make a double station here. Um, the length of the station is 7. So that's the length I use for, uh, for uh, yeah, also for the end station. Okay, now we just need to connect uh, here. Uh, the way I typically connect these stations is just uh, usually just uh, not a full junction but a half junction. So I want the trains from this mine to be able to go to the power plant. So that's in in this direction. And there's no need for the trains to go in the other direction. So I will only connect the the rails in this direction. There's no need for a full junction here. I always make a crossing uh, section here, just so it's uh, easy for the trains to go to uh, in the other direction. Okay, now this uh, direction is connected. Now we just need to connect the other side somehow. This may require some uh, <laughs> puzzling. Okay, I think I found a way. There's probably easier ways to do this, but uh, I like uh, how I did it here. Okay, the way I did now, there's no not any tight turns. Let me use uh, normal signals here. Now there's not any tight uh, curves or tight turns. So that way uh, it's easy for the trains to get around. Another thing that's uh, good about the way I connect it now is that there's quite a long path from the main line to the station. So if uh, all the tracks are full and a train still has to wait in front of the station, in front of this junction, it will not block the, the main line. Because uh, you really want to prevent blocking this uh, main line. Because if in the end many trains are uh, rolling around on it, then you definitely don't want to block that. As uh, you will get huge uh, traffic jams. Alright, and just let's just place, place a path signal here. Alright, now this station is uh, done. Now, something else we'll want to do is uh, put a depot somewhere nearby. Um, I think I'll just place the depot here. It's usually good to have your uh, depots close to, uh, to your station. Uh, it's better than having depots on the on the main line because there they will uh, yeah they are likely to uh, to block your paths because uh, trains coming from a depot are very slow and they may block oncoming uh, traffic. Another advantage is that you can immediately spawn the train next to the station. Now this station produces 80 tons of coal. Um, a train of uh, oh, we have a faster engine now, so let's use that. Uh, a train of seven tiles long with this uh, engine is uh, I think it has 13 wagons, and uh, each wagon can have 30 tons of coal. So, if there's 80 tons of coal. Um, it will take approximately four months, I think, to fill up this uh, train. One train can probably handle this, but the distance is quite far away, so I think I'll go with uh, two trains. Alright, that's the first uh, coal mine connected. Now, at the place where we connect to the main line, we'll probably want to put some uh, signals around it. Just to make this uh, junction a little bit more uh, efficient. Alright, I will now uh, connect the other stations. If I come across any special situations, I will uh, do some narration. But this will uh, mostly be fast forwarded.
Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if I already showed it, but you can easily clone a train uh, either by using this clone train button here on the end when you have the depot open. So when you press it, you can just click on a train to uh, clone it. You can also use this uh, tool on trains that are driving around. Or you can just uh, go on a train here and press the clone button. That will also uh, work. Now this station produces a lot of coal, uh, more than double what the previous station here uh, produces. So here I chose to uh, put three trains. But yeah, you should really look at uh, how much is being produced uh, in order to determine uh, how much, uh, how many trains you will put at a station. Okay, now, um, I always use bridges to just pass over the main line. You can, of course, also just uh, connect like this and then uh, just put a path signal here. And that that will also work. But um, yeah, if there's any oncoming traffic, they will have to wait for any trains that want to pass here. So if you do this, this will, uh, yeah, this may cause... Uh, traffic jams if uh, your network's really busy. So that's why I always just prefer to uh, use bridges and just not <laughs> interfere with the mainline traffic too much. So here I just pass over it like that. And then the oncoming traffic uh, doesn't have to wait. All right, uh, it looks like we connected all the coal mines to our system now. All these black dots are uh, coal mines and they all look to be uh, connected to our network. Now, uh, it could be that we've made some, uh, that I've made some mistakes in connecting them. Um, if you look at your train profit, um, that's usually a good indicator if something's uh, wrong. Well, if a train doesn't make any profit for multiple years, then uh, it could be that it's uh, stuck somewhere. So uh, now it looks like uh, most trains at least made profit in last year. And the trains that didn't, uh, they are either uh, still very new. Or, uh, well, yeah, the, the profit that they made uh, that's negative is very low so it doesn't really matter but yeah if the, there's a big negative number for several years then your train may actually be uh, stuck somewhere so then it's probably worth uh, taking a look if you uh, maybe put the signal uh, the wrong way around now um, if you didn't make enough trains for a station then there will probably be a lot of uh, cargo waiting at the platform and your rating for the station will go down. Um, this is a good way to see uh, all your stations. So there's a station button here. If you click it, you can see all the all the stations here. And you can also see the cargo that's waiting. Now all the all the stations here, um, they don't have a lot of cargo waiting because if they would, you would see uh, like for example, now we only built coal lines, so you would see CL with a big uh, black bar uh, to show that there's a lot of coal waiting. But right now all our stations have uh, enough trains. Some of them have more than enough trains. 
but uh, all is uh, all is going well now. All right, um, we are now delivering all our coals to this uh, station here. It's only a two rail station, so it's probably uh, well, probably almost at the maximum of what it can handle. Uh, if we put any more trains, there'll probably be uh, some traffic jams to be uh, found here. So in one of our next episodes, uh, we'll uh, transform this uh, station into a high efficiency uh, one-way station that can handle loads of uh, train traffic without them having to wait for each other. Now, something else that has happened is that a new train has been invented. You can see here that uh, some of the trains are still older, they're also a little bit slower and we wouldn't want our newer trains to be stuck behind one of these slower trains because then they would have to uh, wait for the red signals uh, all the time. So yeah, in one of the next episodes we will also uh, I will also show you how to replace all your trains with a newer type. This is something that you'll probably have to do uh, quite a few times, so it's a good trick to know. Alright, that was it for this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.